there's some buddies of mine are in town, right? And um, I ended up uh, hanging out today. I played golf again. All right, played nine holes. And I'm actually getting better at it. It's fucking annoying me because I'm trying not to give a fuck. And I actually, for the first time, kept score. And I shot a 49 on nine holes. So if I kept that up, I would have broke 100. Which to me kind of is what I've always been saying, that golf is not nearly as difficult as people say. It's just, you know, there's so many non-athletes that play it. I'm obviously saying at a fucking high level to break 80, I mean, you got to be fucking athletic. You got to play. I'm not disrespecting the game at that. I'm just talking about all of these fucking hacks out there. I mean, the body types, the fact that it's considered a sport and you just look at some of these fucking people just rolling out of their cars with their stupid outfits on, going over there, hitting this fucking, you know, it's like, it's like T-ball, right? And, uh, and they go out there and they affect the curve, the grading curve about how fucking difficult this goddamn game is. So, um... Anyway, but I'm still doing what I always do. I refuse to buy clubs. And I've been playing with the same ball for the last 27 holes. A Titleist 4. The Titleist 4 lives. I thought I lost it today. I hit a tree and it bounced back out. I fucking parred the last hole. And uh, it's funny. One of the guys I was golfing with, because I was like, what hole are we on? And he goes... uh, we're on the seventh hole. He goes, I always get sad, you know, because it's almost over. And I'm thinking in my head, like, I always get psyched because I'm usually bored shitless by the fucking fourth hole. Oh, my God. The fucking pomp and circumstance around when you're just standing there waiting for someone to hit the ball. Fortunately, people I was playing with were playing fast. Is there anything fucking worse than just watching somebody addressing the ball for like 28 fucking seconds. It feels like you're standing there for 10 minutes and then just to watch them fucking hook it or slice it. And then they always put that hand up like like it wasn't them who hit it, like there was something else wrong. Like when somebody cuts you off and fucking causes an accident and then they immediately go like, what the fuck? It's like, what do you mean what the fuck? You ran the light, you cunt, right? You don't get to go, what the fuck? You're in the wrong, right? But the people immediately, they start posting up with like, what the fuck? Um... It's kind of funny, like watching the level of people. Everybody goes like Ryan Leaf out there. They start losing their shit and people throw clubs and they break them and they throw them in the fucking water. (laughs) It's it's fucking hilarious. It's like, what are you mad at? You know what's funny about golf is you can't get mad at anybody else. It's because you did it. So then what do people do? Then they get mad at the game. They get mad at their clubs. They start blaming shit that fucking that goddamn bird flew. It's like, dude, you suck. Okay? Nobody picked you in gym class. Stop acting like you're athletic. This is not a sport. It just isn't. That's why you're out here. Okay? You ever play in a pickup league of basketball, pickup league of hockey? You ever played flag? You didn't do any of that shit. Because you suck. Can you throw a ball? Can you catch? No, you can't. Because you suck. So why would you think that you would come out here? Right? And not suck. Huh? Sorry. Anyway. The only game I, I like to shit on more than soccer is golf. I actually like soccer. It's just, it's just, it's part of being an American to thumb your nose with the re- at the rest of the world when they're all obeying the Paris Treaty and fucking losing their mind about with their version of football. For you to just sit there and be like, no, fuck the Paris Treaty. Fuck your version of football and and... And, 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 and fuck the metric system. Which would probably, admittedly, you know, if I was more mature, were three huge mistakes that this country made. 
But England can't get mad because you cunts still drive on the opposite side of the road just to be fucking cunts. So you, you relate to it. And at the end of the day, we, we are you guys. Don't act like we fell out of the sky, okay? We, we, we came from your goddamn country. And we're smart enough to leave. We saw those taxes coming. And God knows now they're happening over here. Um, 